my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosler. I'm in the old city of Jerusalem today on a bit of a uh, Turkish coffee crawl, trying out to various places. Starting here just inside Damascus Gate in Al Bakka Cafe. They do amazing, amazing Turkish coffee. We're going to get some coffee beans in my favorite, Izzy Man. And we're also going to check out the Lina restaurant. And another good news today, I passed the 1,000 subscriber mark on YouTube, so thanks to everyone who's been watching and engaging with my videos so far. I really appreciate it, and uh, hopefully bringing more fun adventures in and around Jerusalem to your screens very soon. Today is uh, Yom Juma, which is the Islamic holy day every Friday and uh, the old city is absolutely packed because a lot of people get permits to uh, pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque on Friday so in the op opposite direction to where I'm walking there's a constant stream of thousands of people going backwards. close. This is reputed by many to be the very best hummus in Jerusalem, especially in the old city. We're going to get a mixture of different dishes. We're going to get the hummus, which is of course the world famous food by now called chickpeas. We're also going to get a little bit less famous food that's called musabaha. The difference between hummus and musabaha is that musabaha, the hummus, uh, the actual chickpeas are left whole for part of the dish. Really, really delicious. Going to get its biggest hummus one day, I'm certain. And we're also going to try fool, which is uh, fava beans, and of course, a personal favorite favorite of mine is uh, the madamas if they have it today. We just finished eating in Lina's, we ate as many beans as we could fit in our stomachs for $15 and we're going to go now to Newgate, which is called in Arabic Ubab al Jadid. It's kind of part of the Christian quarter, so we're going to go there, but there's a couple of really cool establishments inside there. There's a Tabuna wine bar and there's also a cool coffee shop, so we're going to get some coffee now and continue our uh, food trail through the old city of Jerusalem. sitting here inside the new gate um, in the old city at a really really cool coffee store wine store bookstore all in one it's called the gateway in arabic it's uh, al -Buaba. Um, i just actually picked up a dictionary of local palestinian arabic amia um, and i also got one of my uh, favorite beers there's two main types of palestinian beer one is a beer called shepherds who apparently are having a festival pretty soon in jerusalem the other is taiba this is the blue label Taiba, it's their IPA. I think it's super, super good. They have an Oktoberfest uh, pretty much every time. This time of year, it's just past, just the side of Ramallah. And uh, this place has a really good selection of coffee. They, if you're learning Arabic in Jerusalem, they have lots and lots of Arabic textbooks supported by the local teaching institutes. Uh, so if that's something you're doing, this is definitely a good place to come. And they have pastries as well and uh, cookbooks, so they've really got everything here. Okay, and this okay. place uh, inside Newgate, the entrance to the Christian Quarter, was kind of run down as recently as five years ago. And it's great to see places like this, the Taboon and Wine Bar, just a few doors down, starting to open up and flourish and bring a bit of life to this part of the old city.
So continuing with our uh, coffee crawl in East Jerusalem and in the Old City, we're here in a store called Abu Atta Zaman. It's on Shara Bab al Jadid, which is the road running just inside of the New Gate. And this is how, when you get Turkish coffee served correctly, it's cooked in what's called an ibrik or a jezva in Turkish. Uh, traditionally, they serve it with one of these delightful little glasses, cups. And these are actually called finjans in Arabic. Israelis call the ibrik a finjan which is an incorrect use of the Arabic. Uh, so they serve it with this and this, and you usually get a biscuit, uh, a kak or something like that with it, and you get just a little bottle, bottle of water as well because Turkish coffee is strong and short, kind of like espresso. So you just kind of pour your own cup. Given that we've been to two venues already on the uh, coffee call, my hands are a little bit shaky. Uh, but this place is super cool. They also do, I've discovered, Shepherds, which is one of the two Palestinian beers, brewed I believe in Bethlehem, they have a beer festival soon. They actually have a stout and of course being originally from Ireland, if there's any stout I will try it. So I'm gonna have my coffee first, then move on for a bit of stout. So really cool places, if you're looking for a good place to have some really, really authentic Turkish coffee, Arabic coffee, check out some of these venues in the old city. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Lock, 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 lock.